A means for workers. We're joined now by employment lawyer Alex Lucifero. Thanks for being with us today. Good afternoon, Megan. Can we talk a bit more about what the Ontario government is looking at doing with that new legislation? Can you break it down a little bit further for us? Sure. So it's effectively legislation that's uh, being introduced uh, that will require employers to disclose to its employees uh, whether and what kind of tracking or surveillance uh, is taking place in the workplace, what specifically is happening there. That is the long and the short of it, although it does need to be said uh, we've yet to review that legislation, but that is the information that we're currently being uh, provided by the provincial government. Okay, and we know, or at least the government is saying that, you know, it assumes that this is already taking place. So do we already have laws in place to protect people or do we need to go a step further like is being suggested? Yeah, in Ontario at least there are no there's no current piece of legislation that requires employers to disclose how they're uh, tracking and what kind of data they're collecting from employees. And so in that respect, I think it is a welcome piece of legislation uh, from an employee's point of view. I, I think there's merit there in knowing what your employer is doing or not doing when it comes to tracking your personal information, how much you're using your computer or your phone or perhaps GPS tracking on a, a vehicle. In that respect, I think there's a benefit there for sure. On the other hand, and perhaps similar to what we've seen with respect to the right to disconnect legislation that the, the same government introduced a couple of months ago, really the devil will be in the detail. And if there aren't, if there isn't much teeth to the legislation, uh, you know, simply asking an employer to introduce a policy won't be worth all that much. Okay. And as we all uh, have more people working from home, are you seeing more concerns about this? We are seeing some concerns. Uh, I mean, most recently, the concern with respect to you know disclosure and and uh, personal information has been disclosure with respect to vaccination status. And so, whether or not an employer is allowed to ask an employee for their vaccination status, it's less common, Megan, to receive questions about, for example, GPS tracking on vehicles or you know computer monitoring or phone monitoring. It does happen time to time. There are certain common laws, meaning court made law in Ontario that governs these kinds of privacy uh, interests, but it's not an issue that comes up all that often. Okay, and let me ask you this, because we know often too the company might give the employer a cell phone or a vehicle, and then so does the, um, uh, the employee rather, do they have a, a leg to stand on saying, you know, what are you tracking, tell me more about that, what can I do, can I not be tracked, if it is their item, the employer's item? Sure. Certainly, if it's company property, then I think uh, every employee uh, should understand that it probably comes with the caveat that it, there, it's possible that that uh, property will be tracked again, whether it's a cell phone or a computer, etc. I guess you know, working from home potentially blurs those lines in terms of perhaps an employee is using a personal computer or oftentimes per using their personal cell phone, and that's where things get a little more difficult and where there's potentially an invasion of privacy where an employer wants to cross that threshold into an employee's private life, uh, that's where the line should be drawn. Okay, clearly lots more to dig in on this, but that's all the time we have. Thanks so much for joining us today, Alex. Thank you.